Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Shane's Craft Beer Review. You might notice something a little bit different about me today. I'm, uh, I'm not wearing my hat. I have no excuse. It is two flights up and I was really just too lazy to go up and get it and I wanted to get this beer video done for you guys today. So anyway, let's get into today's beer. This is the Canuck Pale Ale. This is from the Great Lakes Brewery out of Etobicoke, Ontario. Probably one of my favorite breweries uh, around. They, they make a lot of really, really good beers. I think I've reviewed a couple of them on this channel already. Um, it's 5.2% alcohol by volume, 35 IBU, quite a lengthy write-up. Grab a pillow and a blanket. This is going to be a while. Get yourself all snug and snug as a bug in a rug. The minute you crack your can, aroma of grapefruit, mango, and pine hit you in the face like a beaver slapping his tail on a pristine small body of water in Ontario. Sounds pretty nice, nice and tranquil so far. Canuck pours a deep gold bordering on burnt orange that produces a tight snowy white toque. For you guys who don't know what a toque is, that's like a winter hat. <laughs> we call them toques here in Canada. Uh, take one last nose before getting into this liquid which you'll soon find will be hard to put down. Soft carbonation leads into a sweet honeyish start before it gives way to more grapefruit, tropical citrus, canned peaches, and pine. This is sounding pretty good so far. Light to medium body with a very dry finish. Drink at your local pub, in the fish hut, campground, the beach, in a canoe, responsibly of course, playing shinny, on a log, Actually, anywhere north of the 49th. All right, let's check this one out. It's going to be pretty good. Hope you guys are still awake after all that. It was actually kind of funny. I had to go back and look at my uh, older videos because for some strange... Oh, oh, that smells <laughs> fabulous already. Wow. All right. Um, anyway, I thought I had reviewed this beer already for some reason. I don't know why. So I had to go back and look, and apparently I have not. So... We're going to uh, give her a little try here. Am I going to be able to fit this all? Not quite. Very close. Very close, but not quite. All right. I've already been... As soon as I, And it was true. As soon as you open up the can, you can smell this. It smells fantastic. Like I said, you get the hops. A little bit of grapefruit in there. Citrus. Hint of pine. It's... it's I mean, all the things that are right up my alley. So, uh, I'm excited about this one. So, let's dive right in. Give her a little taste. Cheers. That is pretty damn tasty. Tasty, tasty beer there. A little bit of fruits in there. Nice little, nice little bit of pine in there. Really, really nice. Really offsets all the, the citrus and the grapefruit and the mango. Really all comes together. Really super nice. This is, this is bloody brilliant. This beer right here. It is nice. Pretty light tasting, 5.2% uh, alcohol, but uh, not bad. Like I said, citrusy, really, really good. Nice little color to it. Wow, really, really decent. I believe this guy on the front of the can, I believe his name is Jacques, French for Jack, I think, or something like that. Uh, is it on here somewhere? Uh, well, there's a little extra little write up here on the, um, I'll, I'll read it anyway. Um, it has been said that Canada is the only country in the world that knows how to live without an identity. This beer doesn't help much with that. Um, yeah, that's a uh, pretty decent, decent little beer. Definitely check this out. If you guys get a chance, GLB in Etobicoke, which is Toronto, basically. Um, no, actually, don't go there right now. They're, I think they're in a, a lockdown right now because of the COVID. Don't go there. Um, Give them a call. See if they'll deliver it to your door. That's a much, much safer way to do it. But anyway, guys, now that I've babbled on way, way too long, I apologize. Check out the Knuck Pale Ale. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.